Welcome back to the midweek edition of New Day. Now, I have been joined by some students, old students of the Pando Senior High School, and they're here to talk about their homecoming. Now, here is Desmond Duametu, who is the chairman of the Homecoming Planning Committee, and Pearl Etonam Ameko is an executive of the association. I'll start with you, Desmond. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Aisha. Tell us about COSA and how long it's been in existence. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, good morning to your viewers. Um, Pando Secondary School, it's one of the grade A secondary schools in Water Region. Mm. The school, in, in fact, came into being in the year 1953. And um, we have since gone through a number of transitions to this point where we see ourselves as the pride of Pando. Mm. Um, we had the first set of students emerging from the school in 1957. Mm. But it took a while for this association to come into being. Right. Um, for obvious reasons, because those days we didn't have this extent of technological development. So even linking up or connecting was difficult. I'll say that between 87 to date, we have seen much progress in what the school has done and the association for that matter. I'm sure at the right time we can spend a bit of time mm -hmm. on the association. But I would want to say, without any fear of a doubt, that Pando Secondary School is one of the top most secondary schools in the Volta region. Right. But how strong is COSA and how can one be a member? of the association? Um, currently, we have a strength of over 5,000 people who are actively involved in COSA activities. Right. Um, you find these people both within and outside of this country. We have a very solid um, chapter in the US. We have branches all over. And you know, we haven't gotten this extent of the technological development because of the power of WhatsApp or social media. Mm. People are able to connect well. So we have solid year groups that have I mean, been doing great things in the life of the school ever since COSA came into being in 1987. Right. Now, Pearl, tell us um, how relevant COSA has been to Pandu Senior High School. What are some of the projects that has been undertaken so far? Um, COSA in itself has been a very vibrant group. Right. We have given back to the school. We've, we've tarred roads, we've drilled boreholes, oh. refurbishment of dormitories, um, we've given them modern toilet facilities. That's mm. some of the projects we so have. So which of the roads did you tar? The roads the, leading to the school? Or no, the, 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 the roads mm. within the school campus. Now let's talk about the homecoming this year. What are the main objectives for this year's homecoming? Okay, I'm sure we can all take off, take, take off from the theme, which is reconnecting to build a stronger COSA and mm. a better PASEC. Mm. So we are not limiting this homecoming to what association would benefit. It is also um, a way of get, making sure that the school is able to exert its, its, uh, um, the most of benefits, of benefits from the old organization. So we are going back to Pando to, as a, year, uh, sorry, as a um, group of st old students right. to meet and then to work towards a stronger association. You recall that I alluded to the fact that the year groups have become very strong. Mm. Um, this has been to some extent to the detriment of the mother association. Yeah. So we would want to use this occasion to hem every year group in and have one solid year, um, student association. So for instance, when you get to Pando, uh, a major activity on the menu would be an annual general meeting where we would spend some time to look at a new constitution that has been proposed. Mm -hmm. uh, what it seeks to do is to, as it were, acknowledge the year groups, right. but let everybody feel that you are part of a one whole big family, mm -hmm. so that we move away of this idea of working in silos. So we'll spend time on the, on, um, on the constitution, and then also inaugurate a national coordinating council that would be a coordinating name of COSA. Beyond that, also, we look at uh, uh, sustainable funding for COSA. Mm -hmm. you no, know, we have been a bit ad hoc in our funding arrangements. So there are proposals as to what to do to ensure that there is guarantee funding from the association at all times. And there's a major one that is coming up. Um, some of the year groups have come together and have, I mean, that, they've gone through a diagnosis of what is affecting academic performance at the school. Right. So there are some proposals that would be funded by COSA that would ensure that. COSA 
great gains is pride of place in the region in terms of academic work. So that is just the serious side of things. Mm -hmm. We'll maybe have time to talk about the uh, fun bit of it. Definitely. Yeah. Pell, um, tell us how different this year's homecoming is going to be from the previous ones. Uh, this year's homecoming event, it's uh, one of its kind in a long while. Mm -hmm. We have uh, all year groups coming together to participate in this year's event. Uh, over 40 year groups have also registered and confirmed their participation in this year's event, right. which in itself is unprecedented. Mm. Um, we will also uh, have a, a, a three day packed activities full of fun, right. full of action for this year's mm -hmm. event. Now, uh, tell us, um, and Desmond, what should uh, the students, the old students, expect when they come for this year's homecoming event? Yeah, I'll, I'll take leave from what Pell said. Um, we expect this year's homecoming to be action-packed. Right. I would want to say, and it's going to be bumper to bumper. <laughs> We're right from the moment we set off from Accra mm. or wherever you find yourself. You get to Pando, we'll start off with a procession. Then we would have an Amawe. What do you call Banku? Oh. Yes, we'll have an Amawe session. And it's a very popular meal back in the days in school, so we'd want to have a feel of that. Mm. Then we'd follow that, uh, that with what we have all grown to know about Pando, the Bobobo. Right. That's the home of Bobobo. So oh. the first night is devoted to a Bobobo night, where we would spend time to, I mean, dance around, to have fun. There's also going to be a bonfire session on that evening, in, in that evening. Then in the morning of Saturday, we'd have a cleanup at Margaret Marquardt. Back in the days, that hospital has been of service to the school, so we'd want to go and give back. We'd have a cleanup and then do a donation right. to the school. Then we'd have the annual general meeting. We'd go around campus, inspect COSA projects. We'd have fun in the afternoon, play games, mix with the young ones. And then we would settle down in the evening and have what we call Jiggy Jiggy, mm. where we'd have some dance jiggy sessions. Jiggy Jiggy. Jiggy Jiggy, yes. <laughs> we would have some dance sessions with the students. The first half of it would be with the students, just socializing. Right. Then in the evening, we have a barbecue. You don't want to do this. Oh. We'd have a barbecue and we'd have a special pork session. That's a fun packed event. Yeah. We'd have a special, then we'd go back on Sunday have a joint sales service with the students, have a career guidance and counseling session. Mm -hmm. And then we'll take a trip down into the Chobos, where we would have, allow everybody an opportunity to have a feel of what you used to eat in school. Some of us are settling for the Gary mm -hmm. and the Sotins. Some would want to, yes. So uh, back in the days, we used to say that you either go by air, that is eating the dry Gary, you go by sea, that is the Gary soakings, or you go by <laughs> land, that would be the Eba or, Gary, uh, so, um, Gary, photo, for, uh, Gary photo, oh. as we've known. So that would be <laughs> the concluding section of our three days in Pandu. Then we'd all maybe um, say bye bye to each other mm -hmm. and then depart to our various places of origin. Pearl, do you have a final message for all the um, old students of yes. Pandu Senior High School? My final message to all of us who are going to Pandu this weekend mm -hmm. is that we should drive carefully be cautious and then observe road uh, traffic regulations. Those of us who have not yet made up our minds to go to Pando should start thinking of coming home. And also to our old students and uh, associates who are coming to mm -hmm. Pando. I would like to say that we shouldn't go to Pando and do anything. We should co uh, conduct ourselves in a godly manner and not do things that to put the name of the association and the school into disrepute. That's what I want well, to thank say. Thank you very much for joining us. And so it seems that the uh, Pando Senior High Second, uh, Senior Secondary School All Students Association Homecoming is going to be fun. I was joined by Desmond Dramitsu, who is the chairman of the Homecoming uh, Planning Committee, and Pell Etonam Ameko, who is an executive of the association. So if you're an old student, do join them and then have all the fun that you want to. We'll be right